A triple header on Tuesday. The Wizards and Raptors get the action started right here on NBA TV. Game starts at 7. The Wizards took a first half lead against Toronto in game one, but fell in that opener. Let's listen to some possible adjustments the Wizards can make before Tuesday's tip. I mean, you got to pick your points with me and Bill. I mean, uh, we have Uber, Kelly, and Otto, and Thomas and all those guys that you know, we just missed some shots so they didn't get as many shots as possible. You go on a double team and try to trap us as much. We believe in those guys to make the same shot, the kind of shots that they got. They trust in those guys. And if some games you're going to make them, some games you're not going to make them. And I think there was a little bit of what happened last game. We didn't make enough shots, but also we didn't defend well either. And we're going to have to pick our poison. And they're, they're, some of their um, shooters, or not great shooters, stepped up and made some shots. Um, but the, the mistakes that we had on their shooters, that's what we have to, we can't make those mistakes. We got to continue to to shoot the basketball, to, to play our style of basketball, not slow it down. You know, if they're taking away the three, they're giving you something else. So we got to make sure we're ready to attack that. We based our whole offensive philosophy around shooting the three. Um, and volume threes, and and again, we're in, at some point they're gonna we're gonna make a lot of. Them. All we have to do is focus on trying to just win game two. I mean, we have opportunity to win game two and go home. Uh, we feel like we didn't even play our best basketball. We didn't shoot the ball well from three. They shot over fifty percent, and we still gave ourselves a chance to win. The question coming into the playoffs: is How will the Raptors be effective when that rotation slims down? Well, Dwayne Casey has stayed true to form, keeping a full rotation, and it paid off. Raptors Vaughn and Bench scored over 40 points for the 56th time this season, and you see the results. GA, can they rely on this formula continuing to go to this deep bench throughout the playoffs? Well, if they don't, I don't think they win the East. Hmm. They are the one seed. Not Their starters were good last year, and they had a successful season. But why are they better this year? It's because of their bench. It's because of the impact they've gotten from their young players and their veteran guys coming off. They have been terrific. And that trust and confidence that Dwayne Casey and those starters have shown in them, they've rewarded. But I, I think they can continue to play at a high level for this team. And, and I really do believe they're going to have to because we saw it even in, in the first game. Kyle Lowry had his struggles still, mm -hmm. you know, but because his bench played so well in that first half, it allowed him to kind of hit the reset button and he had a terrific second half. So I think their bench is going to be critical throughout. That's where they have the decided advantage in this series. It's going to have to play out that way if the Raptors want to get to the next round. Now, it's one thing to say the Raptors were great, and it's another thing for the Wizards to allow Toronto to have wide open three-pointers, 12 of them, Sam. I mean, that's not going to work out for Washington if they hope to be competitive. Well, let's, let's put it in perspective. Some of the shots that some of the Raptors made, they're not great three-point shooters. They made shots that night. But the thing that Scott Brooks is talking about, the guys that you know can make them, you can't let them get going right here. Look, look. you look at this control uh, pass break right here. Look, you got to find C.J. Miles. He's creeping back there as the trailer, even though he didn't get the rebound, because he knows the defense is getting sucked in. Second. When they're pushing the ball down here on, in the screen and rolls, you cannot get screened and rolled up in the play right there and let DeLon Wright walk into a wide open three point shot. And then, last but not least, you got to make the defender use the screen. Look at Otto Porter. Right here, DeMar DeRozan rejects the screen. Gortat has to help. And instead of Otto Porter running and jumping and taking Serge Ibaka, he stays at home with Balanchunas. And all of a sudden, they're screwed. Miscommunication not knowing your personnel, and then not getting back and talking and getting your defense set. That's something Washington got to do a much better job of. And then, look, you have to adjust as the game goes on. Guys like DeLong Wright and other guys who are not three-point shooters are making shots. You can't keep going on it because Greg noticed it's the NBA. If I get my confidence going and I see that ball go down a couple of times, I'm, I'm capable of having a big night against anyone. When we come back, we'll take a look at the life and career 